Hey guys, today we are going to look at something a little different, which is how I prepare my roster from one Ascension event to the next. I'm going to assume that you know all about collecting feeders to ascend into uh, higher level heroes. So that you need, for example, um, five, five stars to ascend a hero into six stars that you need four four stars to ascend a hero into five stars and these kind of feeders i'm going to be calling cauldrons um i'm gonna leave a link below to another video by jocelyn about how you can make your own cauldrons if you're unfamiliar with the concept but for the purposes of this video just to make it short i'm gonna pretend that gonna assume not pretend i'm sure there's no need to pretend um, i'm gonna assume that you already know everything so um right off the bat i'm gonna say that i've already ascended my two heroes into six stars and for the wise man event i actually only plan to ascend two heroes normally and the way that i do it is i have a bunch of four um four star heroes at level 40 and i will ascend them into five stars during the event using four ones um four ones is um four stars at level one and so once i have those four four 40s ascended into five stars i'll use those five stars to ascend my actual heroes at 550 into six stars so the first step that i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into my storage and look at how many heroes i have left from this round of using up my cauldrons and i usually keep all of my heroes in storage and i i always sort my uh, roster by rank just to keep all of the levels together i find it's easiest for myself to view my heroes that way kind of without chasing up and down to see where all of the heroes are so first of all let's just count how many i have left at 440 and so you can see already quite a few but i'm going to tell you that i have locked all of these away for further consideration let's say so um they're actually not going to be used the other easy way i think if i click on them um some of them have their abilities leveled up so that's a good sign that i'm not going to feed them or i haven't factored that in i don't really want to feed them because otherwise it's a waste of resources um toming them or upgrading their skills in the first place I don't have any 440s, so I'm just going to find my 4-1s, and they're next to the epics, so this is the first one, and I can see that I have 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? That means that if I'm going to do 2 ascensions into 6 stars, I'm going to need 10 Four forties and forty four ones. Forty four ones is basically seven rows of heroes in the storage. Seven rows is forty two heroes actually, but it's okay. I don't mind going a little bit over. If I go over, that means that I have more heroes um, left over for the next time after that. It's just going to make my life a little bit easier in the long run, especially if, you know, we get surprised with a guild ascension event. So I'm, I'm not too fussed about being really exact about it. So we've gone through the first step, which is to count the number of cauldrons remaining. And the second step is going to be to find out how many new cauldrons I need to make. Well, for the 440s, that's pretty simple because I didn't have any left remember I have to make 10 and for the four ones we've just said that I have one row I need seven rows so I need six rows so that's easy 
And then the third step of what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about which heroes I actually want to focus on. This is not about making the cauldrons, but having you know, an overview of my roster in general and having an idea of which areas of the game I want to improve on, which heroes will help me do that. So I will have a list of potential teams that I want to take in, maybe to a rift or um, maybe some hero teams that I want to try out in war or some specific heroes that I want to improve for war. And I have a list of the heroes that I want to ascend and the heroes that I want to level. So what you can see is, you know, I have a short list of heroes that I want to ascend into six stars. So Zayna, Lurkar, Zoe, Lancelot, Valentina. Obviously, I'm not going to ascend all of them because I've just said that I only look towards ascending two. But this is basically a short list and closer to the next ascension event in around one month, I'll probably pick two that I want to do the most and the others are kind of just basically in a queue, which is okay. And similarly for the five stars, so here I have Koharu and Tornis. And these are the heroes that I'm looking to ascend to five stars. I don't need to wait for the wise man event for this. I can just basically do it on the run because I'm not banking on getting these, uh, the points for these heroes to contribute to my wise man. That's why I don't have to wait for wise man. And the reason that I don't have to wait for wise man is that I can farm pretty quickly. Uh, I will also leave a link to my farming, the first video of my farming series, um, which explains the approach that I take to farming. And hopefully you would also see why um, I'm able to farm pretty efficiently. And so um, next to the ascensions, I also have the heroes that I want to level. So... I have for the six star category Esmeralda. I've just ascended her into six stars. So let's find her. Where is she? I think I've already started to power level her. I completely power leveled the other one and she's almost done. But So you can see uh, Esmeralda here. She's at level 27 already. I think that is basically 10 dummy heroes. And I'm going to be looking to level her to level 60. So that's why she's on the list. And also on the five stars, a bunch of heroes that I want to get to 550. I'm not really counting the ones that are already at level 45. Those are kind of a given, but I want to keep track. So I have, I don't know how to pronounce this name at all. Andro. I, I don't speak French. Uh, so this guy, uh, I have Varvin also. I have Durgana, who I just pulled. I have Amelia. I have Yorgola. And I have Torvald. And actually Lancelot is here too, but he's in the Ascend list. So it's kind of a given that I'm going to level him. So... Um, what you notice is these heroes that I have on the level list, they're already in my main storage. I've already taken them out of my, um, well, my storage, storage, <laughs> uh, just to prepare myself for leveling these ones up. And you can also see on the side of the four stars, I'm not really looking to level many. I have Sip that I mentioned just now. Just going to see if I actually have another one that is high, higher. But I don't think so. I didn't have him at 440. So the one that I have here at, oh, sorry. Can I bring him up here? At um, 430, that's him. That's the only one I have. 
and I'm a little bit curious about Paulina as well so I don't see her here let's find her in the storage need to scroll down here she is I'm gonna remove her from storage put her in the main roster so that um, she's there I can keep my eye on her I don't forget about her and I can level her up and then the um, the last step is going to be setting up my groups of heroes which are going to be leveling up together so just to recap we have gone through identifying what are my goals very quickly for the ascension event which is two six star ascensions and then from there the first step is to count how many cauldrons i have left second step is to um, determine how many cauldrons i need to make from new the third step is to look at the heroes that i want to ascend or level um, either between this ascension event and the next one or you know until that next ascension event itself so that's basically the five star the four stars and five stars that i need to level the ones that i need to ascend into five stars and then the five stars that i need to level to 550 so that i can send ascend them to six stars in the next ascension event next the last step which is what we're going to get into is the groups of um usually groups of three or groups of four so the reason that i have them in groups of three or groups of four is that it's just more straightforward to do the leveling that way when i'm farming i bring one farmer and four other feeders so my option could be to bring four feeders who are at the same level or i could bring one hero that is a little bit stronger and helps me to beat the stage plus three slightly weaker heroes and since you saw that i'm going to be leveling esmeralda um, she's a good choice to be that stronger hero who can support the three slightly weaker heroes and ensure that i have a good success rate on the farming so um yeah this is a little bit of a throwback to my farming video but so the um the heroes like you see Tycho, Zena, Ketra, Inula here, um, they are at high levels so I will throw them into the training camps rather than level them in campaign. So Andro, Lancelot, Varvin, you know, these these are still okay to do in campaign but probably nearly reaching the upper limit. Um, this is going to be around five hours to level uh, in the training camp. The training camp I just take as a rule of thumb is just above 4k per hour so this is just going to be um, slightly under five hours and that's okay i try to do it based on how long i sleep so a little bit longer is better <laughs> i sleep a lot um but but these three will be good to go together. Andrew, Lancelot, Varvin. I can pair them with someone else who needs finishing off. And then I can see that, for example, Amelia, Yorgola, Durgana, and Torvald. These are maybe, you know, ones that can naturally go quite well together. That's one option. Or since they are five stars and probably a little bit stronger, I could also take one of them and run them with three um three heroes like unleveled three stars which are really weak or i could even run them with unleveled two stars that's another thing that i can do that just allows me to farm at a slightly higher level um i say said in my farming series i have lots of different farmers so that i can farm at different levels and if i use you know if i switch it up use some uh weak feeders or, as well as some strong heroes that can usually uh help me through the harder levels 
So, so those are my options. You know, these Amelia, Yorgola, Degarna, Torvald, they can either go together or they can go separately and help me build my six rows of four ones, remember? Then next we're going to look at the ones below. So still everything is sorted by rank and we can see who is in progress. So Ardar, um, Jodis or Yodis, no idea. Elijah, Nepta. Um, so Ardar can probably go into the training camps. These three can go together as a three. And maybe they can also go with Esmeralda. Um, these three are not locked. So it will contribute to my 10 for 40s. And then Koharu, I've decided I will keep her. LSR, two LSRs, Varya, Sip, Orgak, Tulipa. Sorry, not Tulipa. Stop at Orgak. Um, these are actually six heroes. So I can do two sets of three or one set of four and one set of two. That's all right. A um, couple of, uh, you know, pairs left over is not really an issue because I can always... Once they're at a high level, either pair them with weaker heroes and do that one plus one plus three that I was talking about earlier, or I can just throw them into training camps with a bunch of leftover heroes, or I can, if I'm very impatient, use dummies or um, other two stars to just kind of power level them up until they're done. So that's, that's my... Um, that's my group that can go to 440 already. And let's look at these. So Tulipa, Paulina, Fegum, Ong, Astrid, Torag, Noctis. Okay, and we stop there. So these are the four ones that I have already. I'm going to try to make them into 440s. I like to get the 440s out of the way because they take a lot of time. And then I feel like... I've done most of the work up front. Also, if I um, level them in campaign until level 35 or something like that, I have a bunch of days to work them off until level 40 um, in the training camps so that, you know, if I don't have my XP boost or something like that, I can easily just continue leveling in an efficient way so yeah, basically I have these seven heroes that are basically at level one. Tulipa is at level three. I'm just going to pretend that's level one. And I can do one set of four. I think that's quite easy. And one set of three. So that's set up quite nicely. I can also set up later you know, the ones that I want to make into four ones. So I'm going to make them into three thirties first, and then I'm going to look for a chance to ascend them. I have all of my rare heroes stored here as well. Um, and then it's quite easy to see which ones are dupes. So I will probably just pick a couple, you know, that um, have a lot of dupes or that I don't particularly need or I've I've got a lot of copies of them so I can just go go through and pick some it doesn't really matter I have a lot of time to do this so I can go in as many times as I like and choose which ones are going to be made into feeders right then I could say for example um, I've picked a bunch of colors, but if I would want to go in to Tenebris, for example, because I have a couple of strong heroes I can bring, if I want to do a one plus one plus three, I could say, 
Uh, Inula is blue, so she will work well in Tenebris. That's red mobs. Can bring Turid, who's red, so she'll be neutral against red mobs. And for example, I could bring Haruko because she's green and they will kill her other rather than targeting all sorts of random heroes. So, you know, maybe this is a three I could do. And then I could say, you know, Th Thomas, Natsu, Yori, Serki. Serki, I could also, um, you know, choose other heroes to to bring them. I don't think that this is really a good, you know, combination of colors. So I could try to, for example, pick some more reds or some more blues to do Tenebris with. Um, this is kind of going into farming at this point, picking the feeders to go into farming so i'm just going to wrap up <laughs> otherwise it's going to end up very rambly so just to recap a final time um the first step is really to decide how many ascensions to six stars i'm going to do for the next event and i know that i'm going to have around one month to do it so you know i can set some reasonable goals for myself First step then is to count how many cauldrons I have remaining. Second step is to determine how many new cauldrons I have to make. The third step is to shortlist the heroes that I'm going to level and or ascend. The fourth step is to set up my threes and fours in my main roster so that I can move on to farming. And I hope that was interesting. Maybe you do it a completely different way. Maybe you don't have a structure at all. This is just what works for me. And maybe it gives you a couple of ideas. Maybe not. So thank you if you've made it this far. And I'll see you next time. Bye.